Hey guys, it's phase one. Welcome to a noob's guide to Star Citizen, flight and flight control. In this tutorial, we'll be covering chip functions, flight controls, key binds, and we'll touch up on the player interaction system in relation to your ship. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing for future Star Citizen content. Without further ado, let's get started. To get started, find your way to the ship spawn terminals. If you spawn at Arc Corp, head over to the Rikers Memorial Spaceport. If you're at Hurston, head over to Tisa Spaceport. If you're at New Babbage, head over to the New Babbage Interstellar Spaceport. In this tutorial, we are at Port Olisar, so we will just head downstairs. Call your ship at the terminal by holding F and left clicking. And head to the landing pad. Now that you're at your ship, hold F at the door or cockpit. You'll see available options to enter the ship. Left click to enter the ship. Once in the ship, hit R to activate flight ready. This turns on the power and engines. You can turn them on individually by holding the F key and left clicking the designated switch. If you're in a hangar, you'll need to request permission to take off. Use your MFD or Moby Glass to contact the air traffic control. If you're just on a landing pad, you can just take off. The F4 key will allow you to switch to the third person camera view. Use the space bar to strafe off the landing pad. Moving your mouse would allow you to pitch and yaw. N will raise your landing gear. Hit C to activate cruise control. Your cruise control and speed is dictated by this UI element. Scroll your mouse up to increase speed and down to decrease speed. Hit C once again and your ship will begin to stop. To strafe left and right, use A and D respectively. W and F strafes forward and backwards. Q and E handles your rolls left and right respectively. Space bar will straight the ship up and control will straight the ship down. Use X for brakes. Braking can cause overheating. 
overheated engines will shut down momentarily to cool off. Activate the afterburner using the left shift button. Use the V key to alternate between coupled and decoupled mode. In coupled mode, your ship avionics will work together to push you towards the direction you're facing. This is what we're used to when we fly planes and drive cars. In decoupled mode, your ship will move in the direction in which you thrust towards. This is additive, meaning if your ship is already moving in one direction, then thrust in another, your ship will move towards that direction until you apply counter thrust. Use the J key to activate the VTOL thrusters. The Z key enables free look. Take some time to observe your cockpit. When you hit F4 for the third person view, you can also use the Z key to look around. As you look around, I'm sure you notice multifunctional displays. These are also known as MFDs. In the center, you'll see the star map. These MFDs are customizable. You can switch between power, weapons, shields, signature, and comms. When the ship is on, the R key will allow you to alternate between gimbals and gimbal lock. This ship currently has fixed weapons equipped. If you have gimbaled weapons, you will see a larger circle which represents your target radius. Use T to turn on headlights. The Y key would allow you to exit your seat. Since I'm in a single seater ship, my character will exit the ship. In a ship with an interior, you would just exit your seat. You can redirect power to either engines, systems, or weapons. While holding F, you can also manually distribute the power. H to alternate between countermeasures, which is your flares and your shaft. G will activate the countermeasure. The M key will activate the mining UI. In this case, you need a prospector or a mining ship. To activate scanning mode, you need to hit the tab key. Use the scroll wheel to adjust the scan radius. Hold the left mouse button to launch your scan.
use a K key to open and close doors. Use a L key to lock and unlock doors. You can also access the ship functions using the player interaction system. You can do this by holding F and right clicking. This will allow you to access functions for the player character themselves as well as the ship that you're sitting in as well as your Moby glass. Right clicking the buttons will review available options. Right click away to exit. Try this and have a look around. Use B to activate your quantum drive. When in orbital space, you'll be able to jump to points of interest as well as orbital markers. You can also jump to other locations in the star system. But if you like your ship to guide you through the jumps, you can use the star map. You can use the one key to target straight ahead. The number two key would allow you to alternate between components of that targeted ship. And the three key will allow you to cycle enemy ships. When approaching the major locations, you need to contact the air traffic control. To do this, you can use your ship's MFD or you can use your Moby Glass. The air traffic control will grant you the access to land. Without doing this, you can receive an infraction. Use N to land once again. Once above the landing pad, you can hold N to activate auto land. Thank you for watching this video. If you learn anything, make sure to leave a like. If you haven't already, subscribe for future Star Citizen content. I will see you on the next one.